Okay, welcome to how to complete your time management paper. Uh, this is Independence University class CSS 101, Psychology of Motivation. Uh, my name is Elise, and I'm going to go through the assignment with you today. Um, a number of easy steps. Okay, so first let's just talk a little bit about time management and what it is that we're looking for in your paper. Um, so time management is an important aspect of life as well as school and just balancing your time between school and your life. Um, especially for online classes, it's very difficult sometimes to, to manage your time. Um, so this will be a great opportunity for you to read some information um, regarding time management and personal development. And we'll get started. So we're, there's a few things we're going to be using. We'll be using Shark um, to go into ProQuest Journal Database for the research for this paper. We'll also be using um, Smart Thinking. Okay, so Smart Thinking, what that is, is you're going to submit your paper through that. Um, there's uh, people there that will kind of correct it or look it over and make some suggestions maybe for improvement. And um, then once that's complete, you'll submit it to your instructor. So let's get started. Um, since this is week three, you should know how to get into Canvas and into your classes. Uh, so let's just start out by going to Modules. And then once in Modules, of course, scroll down to week three. And you'll see Assignment 3, Time Management. Okay. Uh, it is suggested that you listen to the live, um, the live lecture or the recording of the live lecture um, as your teacher will go over this assignment. Um, and then also just kind of read through this portion of it as well. It goes over what is required um, of this assignment as well. Um, there's also a video here if you're interested in watching that. Um, so to get started, in the red box, you'll see the layout of what's required for your paper. Uh, of course, this is also going to be in the APA format, which you um, had practice in week one. So you're going to have five paragraphs. Paragraph one will be an introduction. Introduction, what that is, is just you're going to tell everybody what you're going to talk about. So what's the topic, points that you might touch on. Um, paragraphs two through four is the body of your paper. Okay. And in those, you might say paragraph two, uh, have a first point about time management, uh, why it's important, and how it might apply to your life. Okay. And this paragraph should be between four to five sentences. Okay. Third paragraph, same thing. Maybe a second point about time management, the importance of it, and how it applies to your life. Again, four to five sentences. And paragraph four will be the same. Touch on another point about time management the importance of that um, point and then how it applies to your life. And then the fifth paragraph will be a conclusion. Okay, so you're kind of retelling what you've talked about throughout the whole paper. So kind of like a summarizing of, of your paper um, and concluding what, what you learned from the paper. Okay, and that again will be four to five sentences. Okay, so the total of the paper will be 300 to 500 words. Okay, and that's gone over throughout the assignment here as well. If you look right below that red box, you'll see it says review the instructions below in a PowerPoint. So if you'd like, you can also look at the PowerPoint. It goes step by step through the um, assignment as well. Okay, so time management is more than minutes or hours. Okay, we all have the same amount of time. Some people use it really effectively, while others don't. So this is a great assignment to come up with some tips. I have a difficulty myself. Um, I'm a procrastinator for one, and then once I get started, I'm easily distracted. So if you're like me, you might look for an article that helps you with that. Okay, so to find the article, what we're going to do is go back to modules and go to Let's go back and to 
get a course overview, and you can scroll down and you see the little chart here. Um, otherwise, you can access it outside of Canvas at www.online-shc.com. Okay. Now, once you're in Shark, you're going to go to the library resources where you'll need to log in. And this is going to be your Canvas ID. Sometimes it's just your first dot last name and then um, your zip code unless you have changed it. So I'm going to use an existing student login. Yep, I didn't like what I typed, so we're going to do that. Now once you log in, you'll come to this library resource page. Okay, and what you want to do is scroll down to where it says Journal Research Databases. Come over to the second column from the left where it says Search the ProQuest Journal Database. Once you click on that, you'll see that it comes up with this username and password. And we're going to use that to log in. So if we click on the click here, maybe make a note of what it is. It's um, the username is shark uppercase letters and then the password is lowercase n j number four lowercase k q uppercase e and then a three okay now we're going to log in now this is where um, you'll see this uh, search bar and that's where you can type in what you're looking for if you put in just time management you'll probably come up with a whole slew of um, articles. So what we want to do is just kind of narrow it down, um, make it a little more specific. So let's see. So if we just put in time management, you'll see we come up with like two million results. Okay. If you look down below, it says related searches, time management, and family and family life. That might be useful. Uh, time management and students. Um, time management and productivity. Okay, so what we want to do, I'm going to look for and personal development. Okay, I don't know. So it brings it, narrows it down a little bit more. So what we want to do is just scroll through. You'll see all the different uh, types of articles, the roles of grassroots local government, sustainable waste management. Okay, that doesn't sound like anything that we're looking for because we want time management. So definitely um, scroll through and so I'll hear like an intelligent personal assistant for tax and time management. Something that it seems of interest to you that you would be able to use in your own personal life uh, will be a good article to start with. So an article that I have previously found, <coughs> excuse me, um, is under this personal development and time management kind of subtopic. So if you click on that, you'll see a lot of different <coughs> titles. So like procrastination be gone. That may work well for me since, like I said, I'm a big procrastinator. Um, we're going to take a look here at this maximize your time, achieve more with less. Okay. Now when this one pops up, it looks just like you're looking right at a, a magazine, a magazine article, right? Um, some don't look like this. Some just come up with black and white text. Um, pretty much the same thing. You have the same information. So what you want to do is to start off, um, formulate your paragraphs. Um, so here, imagine you had three extra hours this week to devote to your own improvement as a leader or a student, mother, father, friend, whatever. Uh, what kind of difference do you think that would have on your effectiveness, accomplishments, and long-term success? So if you look through this article, you'll see here's a shortcut one, modeling, shortcut two, define your time, three, make your appointments for yourself. So if you go through, you know, maybe you could use a couple topics per paragraph so that you end up with four to five sentences. Um, and let me just show you an example of how you'll set it up then. Okay. So you remember this from the other paper. So you have your running head. 
and your running head should be in all uppercase letters. So we want to create time management. And you might want to use more paper. Okay. Click out of that. Go to Alt Tabs. Okay. And then we'll toggle our paper again. This is upper and lower. Keep letters. name, the course number, which is your CSS 101, let's just say section 5, due date, we'll put in today's date, Oops. MAZ, Tom Baking, and then your instructor's name. So let's say Beverly Vera. Okay. So once you've got this information in, my recommendation is that you go up to File, Save As, cut your time management out. This will be Rename of Paper, Name of Documents, and then Save. Okay, so this way anything you've typed in so far will, will stay there. So let's scroll down to page 2. Again, the short title of your paper here, all uppercase. Click out of that. It may pop you back up to page one, so just scroll down and you'll see in gray the time management paper. Okay. Um, also, if you scroll down to page three, you'll see it again. Okay. Now, this is just kind of a little template, so to speak. You see paragraph one tells you again, just like your instructions on your uh, assignment page, it says introduction. Paragraph two, something to learn from the article, connection to your life. Same for three, four, and then five is your summary or conclusion. Okay, so what we can do here is we'll put our title in here again, uppercase, upper and lowercase letters. And then you can just go down here, take that out. And then you'll just start typing your paper. Okay, so for the sake of demonstration, I'm just going to do kind of garbled stuff. Go down, put paragraph two, okay. All right, so we've got our, our paragraphs in there. Here's our references. We want that down on page three. Whoops. Okay. Let's bring that up a little bit. Not too far. Okay, there we go. So references. This is where you're going to have your citation. So this is where you're going to have the information from the author of the, <clears throat> excuse me, of the paper section or the article that you have chosen to reference. Okay. Now, let's go back to the article. Okay. So, here you can see there's the title. Now, we want to find out who wrote this. So, here we see up here, J is the last name, Joelle, name of the article pages and where it came from okay now if you go up to the blue bar under the ProQuest research library you'll see a little link that says site so if you click on site what that does is it brings up in our style APA the citation all you need to do on here is just click right in front of J in the word J click and drag so you can highlight that and then do a control C or right click copy. Okay. We'll go back to our Word document under references. Put our cursor down to where we want to start it. And then just go up to paste to where the little arrow is. Click on that and you'll see the three options. You want to go to the middle option where there's a blue arrow and click on that. So that the formatting will be exact. Um, as you see it. Now, if you remember about the, the hanging indent, <coughs> just put your, excuse me. Okay. So again, for the hanging indent, if you remember from the first time, and maybe you don't know this little tip, but it's, it's pretty awesome. Click right in front of the J in the word J, and then do Control T. And that'll make the second line jump over, and you'll have your hanging indent. Okay. So you want to go up, file, save. Okay. So 
So now you have your paper. Um, now what you'll need to do is go into, let's go back into the library. And you want to be able to, or send it to ProQuest. So actually go back to your home page uh, of your class. In Canvas, okay, and you'll see here on the side where it'll say home and announcements, so on and so forth. At the very bottom, it says Smart Thinking Online Tutoring. So you want to click on that. Okay, it's going to ask you to do the kind of a system check. So you can just scroll to the bottom of there and click, click here to continue. Okay, I guess you don't need to do anything with that either. Okay. So once you get into Smart Thinking, this is what you'll see. Okay. Now to submit our uh, selection, what we want to do is click on Writing Center. Uh, the subject that we want to submit your writing for is the Essay Center. Okay. And now it's going to come up with your information. Okay. So here you want to fill in where it's highlighted red. So the course would be CSS 101. Professor's name, again Beverly, or whoever your instructor is, the due date. So let's say it's Saturday. Put that in. Uh, it's one draft. The writing title, which is time management. Okay, and then down here you want to put a description of what the paper is about. So. Um, Put say 300 to 500 word paper on time management. Oops, spell that. And how it affects your life. Okay. And then you can in this next box. It, Describe the kind of help that you'd like from the instructor. Um, so maybe you want them to, let's see, uh, correct sentence structure. Um, make sure thoughts are clear. And then right below that, you can choose two other areas that you'd want them to check. So let's just say organization and grammar. Okay. Then it asks uh, what smart th thinking instructors um, do you want to work on this? So you can just put first available. Okay. And now we want to upload our paper so that they have something to look at and they can correct. So you want to go choose file, go to your documents where you've saved it. And then <clears throat> find the document. So here is time management paper. It's uploaded it. Um, and then what you want to do is click submit. You can review what you've typed in, make sure it's correct, and then click on confirm submission. Okay. Now, generally, it takes up to about 48 hours for them to um, go over it, make any corrections. Uh, once it has been returned to you, if you go to your writing submissions, um, you'll see something in here. Okay? And then they'll have the corrections. Now, once you have received your uh, corrections back, you want to go back to our class, go to modules back to week three, assignment three, time management, and then go to submit assignment. Okay. So in here again, you're going to choose a file. So what you want to do is you're going to upload um, the one that's come back from Smart Thinking, and then go into your own paper and make the corrections or any kind of adjustments that might have been suggested um, to your paper, save it again, and then upload that. So you'll be uploading two files 
to upload your corrected paper and then you'll also upload the uh, paper that has the corrections or suggestions from uh, Smart Thinking. Okay, so that is about it for this um, for this assignment. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always ask your student advisor, um, or of course um, go to the PowerPoint and see if that will help you as well. All right. So best of luck.